Ian, first of all, uh, welcome to my little football club. Uh, how pleased are you that you're the 23rd manager of this fantastic football club? Yeah, I'm, I'm delighted. I'm um, in a privileged position. Um, the history of the football club, I've, uh, I've done a bit of research and, and I know how, you know, how well this, this football club has, has done certainly over recent years and to uh, to follow on from Stuart it'll be a uh, a tough task but um one that I'm 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 very excited to uh, to take up and and looking forward to well, let's just go through uh, y- your time in football give the Mallow fans out there a little idea of Ian Barraclough and his achievements first of all as a player yeah didn't um didn't reach the heights of the the Premier League in England but um over over 20 years experience 700 games of um you know, in the championship, uh, League One and League Two, and um, thoroughly enjoyed being a player. Um, I'm still frustrated now, um, but uh, still think I can join in at times. But no, coaching and, and, and managing for for eight nine years, and um, this is uh, it's the next best thing. Um, I'm a I'm a positive guy. You'll you'll find that I'm. Um, I'm upbeat most of the time. The players will find that, and I try and get that across. And that um, you know, I want this. Uh, I want this club to be feel energised, um, and and start climbing the table as soon as possible. Look, your, your playing career was, was was lengthy. You then moved into to management with uh, with Scunthorpe, and a, a club where you've had uh, you know a, a fantastic uh, career as as a player. Mm. Um, you also had fantastic success in Ireland with Sligo. Give give the fans an idea of of just managed what you've managed to achieve in, in, in your time in management so far. Well, both clubs I've I've been at were very similar to to this. It was a a real community feel about it with the uh, with the two clubs. Um, Again, population-wise, Scunthorpe was probably slightly more than here, but Sligo was was around thirty thousand, and um, you know clubs that that were really we, we were unfashionable when achieving things. You know we we helped get Scunthorpe from League Two out to uh, to the Championship and, and dropped in our first year, and then got back the, the second year. And you know we were punching well above our weight, so um, it was a, a struggle most years, but to have the success we had there was unparalleled. Uh, went to Sligo and to to wrestle the the league title away from Dublin and the clubs there um, for the first time in 35 years at Sligo. We, again, we had real achievement and um, to back that up with with winning the FAI Cup, which is a, the Premier Cup out there, and the um, the All Ireland title, the Santa Cup, was uh, something that the club had never won before. So again, been really used to having success uh, and want to taste more of it having come here. What can Mallow fans expect from your tenure here at Far Park in terms of style and the way you like to play football and your philosophy? I want players to be comfortable with the ball. Um, I don't want us to give up possession easily. Uh, I think um, the more you've got possession of the football, the, you know, the, the more chance you've got of winning games. But I want us to be um, full of expression. I want players to, to go and, and be themselves. Go and, they'll enjoy uh, playing with a, with a freedom. Uh, they've got to be hard working though. I demand hard work from from players and honesty, and um, I think most fans can relate to that. If uh, they can see players putting a, a shift in on the park, then uh, they can forgive mistakes. Uh, and I want players to to play with that freedom that they are going to make mistakes, but um, if they're trying the right things in, in the right areas, then um, you know there'll be no qualms from from me and the coaching staff. So, for me, I want us to play fluent football if possible, um, but but it's going to be um, based on hard work. Yeah, you, you were noted in Sligo for playing a really attractive style of football, a really attack-minded style of football. Is that what Mother fans have got to look forward to as well as as well as that possession game and as well as that hard work? I hope so, and, and hopefully, you know, players won't feel inhibited to to, to produce that. And um, you know, I think it's uh, say a style of football that players will enjoy playing, and and in time we can we can get that out of them. You know, that they, they may have felt that that in the position at the moment. You know, it's a case of just get it away from me, or I, I don't want to be the one that, that makes a mistake. I want to encourage them to to, to try things, and, and you know, you're going to make mistakes, um, and, and hopefully the the crowd will forgive them and and, and stay with them on that, um, and it'll produce the best. Hopefully, what is the immediate aims for you as a manager at this football club? What's the what's the targets here at the doors? Well, short term, it's to 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 keep this club in the SPL. Um, there's uh, no easy way of, of going about that. You know, we find ourselves in a position that um, hasn't been at this football club for a few years, uh, and it's certainly not comfortable. But you know, it doesn't uh, doesn't scare me. I feel as though there's more than enough at this football club to to get us pushing up the table in the short term. 
and then try and build, say, long term in, in, in trying to produce players of their own. Uh, I am big on, on uh, development, developing your own players. So the young players here will certainly have a, a pathway into the first team if they're good enough and they'll be given that chance. Um, but, you know, in, in the long term, it's to win trophies, you know. Uh, why not stretch the boundaries? Why not Motherwell Football Club win the SPL? Uh, you've got to go out with that thinking. Otherwise, you know, you won't achieve anything. Um, the cup competitions uh, will be uh, something that, you know, <laughs> to have uh, achievements in, in the cup are, are superb and it's days out that, that, that fans look forward to. But, um, you know, it's important. It's a way of getting into Europe and I've been used to, to, to being in Europe. So I want more of that coming here uh, and I'm sure the fans do and the players definitely will I'm sure the fans who are doing the reading up on you when they're watching this interview they know, will know you're an organisation manager as well you, you know the, the things that they watch and they read about you how much uh, preparation have you done for this job to make sure that you hit the ground running I'm sure you know a lot about the players already despite you know only, only taking the job today yeah um, I feel it's my job to, to prepare as much as possible um, and, and give players information that I feel they need going into games um, not to bombard them with too much because they have to find their own way ultimately um, but but for me I've, I've done research I've spoken to as many people as I can um, and, and the majority in fact nearly all of it has all been positive which is why it, uh, it for me it was a, a job that I, I was um, I was desperate to get and um, and one that now I've been given the the task of of taking the club over, one that I will I will cherish uh, and and work my hardest to to make sure it works. You have managed in the Championship, you've managed in the Premier League in Ireland, now Scotland. What are you looking yeah. forward to within working within Scottish football? I suppose it must be a new challenge for you. It is a new challenge. It's fresh for me, um, and, and one that uh, again I, I look at the SPL. It's it, it's a a higher standard than than what I've previously managed at, at Sligo. Um, uh, where I actually put it, I don't think I've seen enough games to actually, yep. you know, give a, a an informed view at the moment. Yep. But um, there are some very talented players in the league. There's some very talented players at this football club, and I'm looking forward to working with them. Uh, and hopefully, um, they, they'll enjoy uh, my way of uh, of working and um, and bring their best. So again, for me, it, it is a, a new chapter and one that I'm. Um, I'm desperately looking forward to, yeah. And just final question, you know, obviously it's been a tough old season for the supporters. It's been uh, difficult in the league. The, the, the Cups have, have not produced, uh, you know, any glory, sadly, this year. What's your message to the Mullow supporters as, as they watch this interview today? You know, what, yeah. what, 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 what do you want to say to them? I, I want to give them as much pride in their team, in their, um, in their town, uh, as soon as possible. Uh, that starts with a, a win against Ross County. And, um, you know, take it from there. We've got some big games coming up in the in the next few weeks, ones that we um, we, we want to win. Um, I'm not going to say we need to win it, but uh, psychologically, you know, these next few weeks could be massive for the long long run of the season. And um, you know, I'm I'm very very confident, looking at the players that I've, I've seen so far, um, that um, we can we can get out the bottom three and and start moving up to um, to, to mid table. And then let's see where we are in in a few weeks time and, and, and head for for as high a position as possible. Ian, thank you very much and good luck. Thanks very much.